Well, in today's talk, I want to explain to you how the spirit of lust ran my life for four to five years. And I also want to expose um, what the spirit of lust is. Um, so seventh grade year is when I lost my virginity. And the truth of the matter is I lost my virginity um, because of pride. Um, I was in church all of my life, um, played the drums, sang in church, did everything. And all of my friends knew that. And so I was um, known as, you know, the church boy around junior high school. And so I was dating this girl at the time in high school. And I remember this like it was yesterday. We were um, leaving classes, uh, leaving school rather, and we were on the boulevard and we were getting ready to go home. So we were waiting on buses. And all of a sudden I hear my teammates um, like screaming and laughing. And they all came to me and they were like, Quiz, um, your girl said that, you know, she couldn't have sex with you because you would be playing gospel music in the bedroom. And they proceeded to laugh at me really hard. And so, of course, I'm a young man at that time, really gullible when he experienced in, in life at that point. And so uh, pride, you know, the pride inside of me jumped up. And so me and her, me and her talked about it. And I asked her, did she say it? She was like, yes, yeah, she said it. And it was just a joke. And then I asked her, you know, well, we can always find out. And, you know, long story short on that, um, you know, we had sex, I lost my virginity. And um, that was the, after I lost my virginity, uh, my life took a huge turn because, you know, I had opened my, my life up um, to the spirit of lust. And um, so much so that, you know, me having sex, it also opened up my life to, you know, porn and masturbation and all of that stuff. And um, it's, um, it's a testament to how powerful um, the spirit of lust is. Um, I, this, this spirit was running my life so much so that, you know, fast forward to high school, I had a, a girlfriend in high school. She was, she was probably the best girlfriend I ever had. You know, she treated me so well. She was godly and all of that good stuff. And um, just to be honest with you guys, you know, in high school, you know, I went to a public school. So, you know, me and this girl, we started, you know, having sex or whatever. And, you know, we decided, you know, both of us decided to stop at one point because we felt like, you know, we were having sex too much and we felt like it was going to be detrimental to our relationship. So we both decided to stop. And we stopped for about two or three months. And then, you know, I wanted to start back and she didn't. And so what I did uh, was I, you know, I had sex with her best friend and then another girl that was on her team. Um, and it was all because, you know, the spirit of lust in me uh, wanted to be fulfilled. And that's one way that the spirit of lust operates. When the spirit of lust, you know, doesn't get its need, um, it's going to go anywhere it can to find it. And um, also, you know, just another thing about lust that I learned during all of this time is that the spirit of lust is gender neutral, meaning uh, the spirit of lust has no type. It has no gender. It has no race. And that is why, especially in today's time, you will see, um, you know, men wanted other men and woman, uh, women wanted other women. And it's simply because uh, the spirit of lust in, in their lives have not been tamed, has not been contained. And um, like I said, when lust doesn't get what it wants, I'm just going to go to greater heights and, you know, deeper depths to fulfill that need. Um, the spirit of lust is one of the most powerful spirits um, in all of the Bible. Um, you see, you know, people dealt with in the Bible. Uh, one instance that I'm thinking about now is King David. In the Bible, he dealt with the spirit of lust so much so that the only way that they knew he was dead was that they sent the virgin woman in his room. And when he did not move, uh, they knew that King David was dead. That's how, that's how bad he struggled with the spirit of lust. So this is nothing new. Uh, this has been around for ages. Um, and even so, you know, that spirit of lust led David to have Uriah killed in battle. Um, you remember the story uh, how, you know, David, you know, slept with Bathsheba and set up Uriah to be killed in battle. Um, but it all boiled down to the spirit of lust. And like I said, the spirit of lust is um, such a powerful spirit. Um, 
and it caused you to do things that you never thought you would do. It caused you to do things out of the norm, all because, you know, the simple fact that lust has to fulfill its own need. And so um, the spirit of lust ran my life up until the 11th grade year until I really, you know, the Lord really captured my heart and I surrendered that spirit to the Lord. Um, the difference, you know, now and then is that, you know, I wake up every day, every single day, and I make that conscious effort and I tell God yes. And when you tell God yes, you automatically tell the devil no. And so, um, you know, that is my, you know, explanation on the spirit of lust. Uh, like I said, it's one of the most powerful spirits in the Bible outside of the spirit of pride. Um, so, yeah, that is my dissertation on lust. I hope you guys learned something and, you know, got a little insight about what lust really is and how it operates and, you know, just the depths of it and the many